This is how Michael I Michael Jai White agrees to box Mike Tyson. Of course. What would I, how, why would I not do something You like would that? agree to it. Did the Black Dragon Michael Jai White really just issue a challenge to iron Mike Tyson to a boxing match? Because that's what a lot of people on the internet are talking about. Now I've been looking into this situation and I'm going to give you guys the 411 on the whole thing in this video. What's up y'all? My name is Prince and I'm on a journey to help people find harmony in their life through martial arts, mindfulness practices, and tapping into our own inner power. In this video, I'm talking about someone who's been a bit of an inspiration to me on my journey to find those things that I just mentioned. And that person would be the black dragon himself, Michael Jai White. Now, you may not know this, but Michael Jai White, who played the character Black Dynamite, was recently handed down the title of Black Dragon from the original Black Dragon himself, Ron Van Cleef. Ron Van Cleef received that title from none other than the little dragon himself, Bruce Lee. So it's interesting that Michael Jai White now holds that title, given the controversy over something that was involving Bruce Lee and Michael Jai White that people are still talking about to this day. Bruce Lee would be no Bruce Lee would be no match for me. Now I'm actually going to dive into that one in another video, so stay tuned for that. Now, I mentioned that controversy because Michael Jai White is now embroiled in another controversy. That is if you believe every rumor that you hear on the internet. Like this rumor about Michael Jai White challenging Mike Tyson to a boxing match. Now, this particular story went viral a few days ago and it really picked up some steam quickly when I saw it being discussed in several large martial arts groups over on Facebook. It got so big that Michael Jai White even had to step in and make a comment on the story that was being run in The Sun, which is a news company out of the UK. So how this all happened was Michael Jai White was speaking with DJ Vlad on his YouTube channel, Vlad TV, where Michael Jai White has become a regular guest on the DJ Vlad show. Now, just before the Tyson Roy Jones Jr. fight, DJ Vlad and Zab Judah sat down with the champ for an interview and the topic of the Mike Tyson biopic came up. You're Iron Mike, you're Big Mike. Now, the connection here is that a young Michael Jai White portrayed Mike Tyson in that film. And Tyson said that Michael's performance was great, but he said the movie was garbage. I don't know. I, well, he, he did a good job. I think the film was garbage. Now, DJ Vlad being the type of instigator that he is, he led in with Michael Jai White's response to Mike Tyson's comments about the Tyson movie being garbage. And if you go back and watch the video, you can see that Vlad is setting him up for the okie doke because he soon asked Michael Jai White if he'd ever consider fighting Mike Tyson in a boxing match. Number one, mm. if you got a call to do the next exhibition match with Tyson, would you do it? Of course. Now, if you pay attention to what's being said, Michael Jai White is talking about sparring with Mike Tyson as a sparring partner in a camp before Tyson's next fight, maybe with Evander Holyfield. My preference is, hey, you know, you getting ready for a fight, I'll, I'll go to your gym and spar you. But Vlad is insisting that they glove up, step in the ring, and give the entire purse to Mike Tyson because Michael Jai White said that he would fight Tyson for free, meaning he would not want to be paid as a sparring partner in Mike Tyson's fight camp. Now, DJ Vlad is not taking it that way at all, and it seems like he's not even listening to what Michael Jai White is actually saying which might explain why you have tabloid sites reporting that Michael Jai White challenged Mike Tyson to a boxing match, and he's even insisting that he can beat Tyson. Now, Michael Jai White did initially respond that he thinks he can win when DJ Vlad asked him. Okay, so here's the next question. Do you think he would win? Yeah, of course I think I would win. But I took it as the kind of thing where you always bet on yourself. Michael Jai White thinks he could beat Tyson, but reality may not play out that way. And he actually talks about getting beat by Tyson. Dude, I don't, if he whooped my ass, I would be, I would laugh at the whole scenario. And how it would be a better learning experience for him to step in the ring with Tyson and lose. Look, remember that Michael Jai White actually played Tyson in the Mike Tyson biopic. That's what started this whole conversation about getting in the ring with Tyson. 
Something else interesting is that Michael Jai White also played a character inspired by Mike Tyson and George Iceman Chambers in Undisputed 2. Something interesting about Michael Jai White is that he likes to spar with people, especially combat sports athletes who play in those movies with him. So getting the opportunity to spar with Mike Tyson would basically be like a character study for Michael Jai White because he's actually played Tyson twice. Once in the biopic where he literally plays Mike Tyson and again in Undisputed 2 where he played a character inspired by Mike Tyson. Now look, I'm saying all of this, but what really matters is what came from Michael Jai White himself. Michael Jai White took to his social media accounts where he says not to believe the hype being spread around because he's not fighting Mike Tyson, nor did he challenge Mike Tyson. He reiterates that he was responding to a question about fighting Tyson. He goes on to say that the comment about fighting him for free is in reference to not needing to be paid as a sparring partner because the experience would be payment in itself. He goes on to say that he meant no disrespect to Tyson and he did not challenge him. He also says, look, don't believe everything you see or hear on social media. I guess kind of like this video <laughs> or DJ Vlad videos. <laughs> but hey, look, y'all, I'm a big fan of Michael Jai White and I only talk about him to set the record straight for everyone. I mean, like, look at the comment Michael Jai White made about Bruce Lee almost seven years ago. You saying you could beat Bruce Lee? Really? Bruce, Bruce Lee is 132 pounds. I outweigh him by 100 pounds. There's people still talking about that, mostly thanks to DJ Vlad. And that's what Bruce Lee is showing you. I don't care how big you are, I got something for your ass. Said that he could have beaten Bruce Lee. Oh, he should have never said that, but he he's... He apologized for that. He shouldn't have said that. You know, maybe Michael Jai White should stop going on DJ Vlad's channel. I mean, maybe it's good for publicity, but I bet there are smaller channels like this one who would love to hear about his new projects, like his new movie on Netflix with the awesome fight with Maurice Crump called Welcome to Sudden Death. And if you guys wanted to know, it's a remake of a Van Damme movie, but it's full of action. And you get to see Michael Jai White fight his wife Jillian in it too, so it's pretty cool. But anyway, I guess there's not much drama here as far as the Iron Mike versus Black Dynamite thing. I mean, not like the drama with Mike Perry and Michael Jai White. By the way, did you see my video explaining that one? You should really check it out if you didn't. But uh, that's all I got for this one, so thanks for watching. Y'all keep on breathing, and I'll see you on the next video.